From a distance, a beach looks like one big smooth thing. But if we look at it through a telescope, we can magnify it and make it look bigger. Then we can see that the beach is not smooth at all, and it's not a single thing. It's made of a lot of little sand grains. The beach is nothing but all the little sand grains put together. A beach can be made of a thousand trillion sand grains. It's an example of a big thing being made of lots of little things. We could say that the sand grains are the basic building blocks of the beach. Can you think of another example where a big thing is made of a lot of little things put together? Pause if you want some time to think about that. How about a forest made of a lot of trees? Here's a forest up close. And here's a forest on a distant mountain. Is this Lego parrot just one thing? Is this hut on the hill just one thing? Or made of smaller things? We can say that the bricks are the basic building blocks of the hut, or that sand grains are the basic building blocks of the beach. But are bricks or sand grains themselves made of anything smaller? To answer this question, we can magnify a sand grain to see what it's made of. Scientists magnify really small things using a microscope, which will make the sand grain look bigger. The most powerful kind is called an electron microscope, which can make things look millions of times bigger. So let's use that. Our scientist put some sand under the microscope, and now she looks through the top to see the magnified sand. This is what she sees. And now she's zooming in more. Magnifying the sand grain a million times would let her see the sand's building blocks. Wow, look at those. These marble-shaped particles are the building blocks of the sand. They're called atoms. The word atom means uncuttable, and if you imagine that we had a very sharp knife, we could cut the sand into smaller and smaller pieces, but we couldn't make it smaller than an atom because this is the sand's smallest piece. A tiny sand grain is made of 10 million trillion atoms. This means that there are more atoms in a grain of sand than there are grains of sand in a beach. Atoms must be incredibly small. There are two kinds here. The red ones are oxygen and the grey ones are silicon atoms. By the way, we just made them these colours so we could tell them apart. They aren't really red and grey. If we could magnify a brick, we would see that it's also made of atoms. It's got silicon and oxygen atoms, but other kinds like hydrogen, aluminium, iron and calcium as well. Have you heard of any of these before? What a substance is like depends upon what atoms it's made of and how they're arranged together. Have you heard of any of these kinds of atoms before?
In the whole world, scientists have discovered 92 different kinds of atoms. If we magnified anything, we would find that it's made of some combination of these 92 kinds. That means that atoms are the basic building blocks of everything. That includes sand, a brick, a big thing like a planet, a small thing like a flea, and all the things that you can see here. Can you name some other things made of atoms?